Ready to go? Yeah. Yes. I'm definitely ready to go too. Wait a minute. It was just quiet a second ago. I told you. I told you. It was just quiet. There was nobody there. Do you want to do this inside? No. You want to do it out here? Yeah. All right, so we won't get into all that. We, we are bringing you our 83rd show, and it is September the 5th, 2018. Uh, uh, the noise just began, and, and unfortunately, um, at, at times, this occurs. Uh, we still haven't figured out really why. I mean, we know why, but we'll just leave it at that. But every time we come out here on the porch, uh, almost within <laughs> 10 minutes, 15 minutes, we get like a lawnmower and there's like no grass. We get weed eaters and there's like no weeds. And we just had like a tropical storm. And, and we just had nothing to do. Yeah, and we just had a tropical storm and, 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 and like there's no one out. But all of a sudden I got a power tool behind me. That's cool though. Let's go. That's how we roll. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Fact is, 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 is I always like to say, be kind, be happy. Um, uh, and Carl and I, again, try to bring fun. No matter what we do, we have five kids, and we struggle like everybody else. Um, uh, Carla has been the recipient of uh, a lot of stereotypical things uh, over the years, and especially uh, in the recent past, hence some of the noise in my opinion. But nonetheless, uh, we, we will keep smiling and, and continue to be um, what What's we... What's that song? Keep smiling. Yeah, don't keep worry. No, that's a different happy. one. Do, 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 do,
Yeah, it was, it was it, bad. It, it, it was definitely it house was, was moving. Yeah, you could feel the house move. It was it was definitely an interesting evening. It, it, but I really, really, really enjoy the weather, and I know there's a lot of people that watch the weather, that watch our tennis stuff, even though they have never played tennis or may not particularly care for it that much. But but they are uh, 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 growing the love inside of them for it by watching the tennis, and then vice versa for the tennis. Mm -hmm. uh, viewers, yeah, they they watch the tennis, and before you know it, they're drawn into uh, storms that form uh, of such a caliber as we had yesterday, and and then we go out and kind of tackle those. If my leg wasn't destroyed, I would have had Carla on the beach filming me surf that swell. I'm gonna do that next time when my leg heals and I can go out onto uh, the noise stop. Let's go through that it's kind of like having the crowd roar at the davis cup and you're playing from argentina and <laughs> anyway i got happy there that's okay i just dropped the break point that's all right my noise is back we're gonna fight do it let's go come on it was almost like today when the power would go on and we're like yes and then it goes off we're like geez another hour would go on and then the next second it would go off yeah so it's, it's, it's been an up and down. Can you imagine those people that live in third world countries that have no power the whole day? I mean, I've lived in third world countries before, and I know sometimes you lose your power all day long, no running water, nothing. I don't know what would be worse than that, living uh, like you just said, which a lot of people do respectively, or having someone say that, uh, that you did something that you really didn't do and you don't even know these people. What do you think is worse? I'd rather deal with no power. Yeah, I, 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 I would think no power. Uh, no hap, happily, I've been there. Happily, as long as my family's good, mm -hmm. you know, we're chilling. I'm good. I just, I don't, I don't like it when others say something happened. We don't even know who you are, and it's completely false. I don't even know. It, Does it matter? No, but stereotypes are abound, and Carla gets a lot of these stereotypes. Wait a minute. You're not supposed to be here. Like, there's a wall. Like, what? She's from Brooklyn. Anyway, I'm from Queens, New York. Queens, New York. Anyway, we're not going to get into all that because I get really intense about it, and I'm going to leave it at that. But that's, uh, nonetheless, the world in which we live and why we love to do tennis and the weather because it is a complete different vibe in of itself. You know? Tennis fans are great. Weather fans are great. It's always intense. If you're knee-deep in the game, it's always going to bring the fight out in you. If I hit a forehand, bow by her, and I'm like, come on, let's go. Even if I'm down 6-2. And 5 1, and I bow, I'm like, get that! Get that! Get that! And she's like, what? I'm, up. I'm like, that's okay! <laughs> that's alright! Come on! But when the weather comes for me, boom, 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 I'm like, look at the weather, look at the wind in my face, I'm like, yeah! Let's go. Those are the two things. And then surfing comes in third, like, oh, it's a monster! I gotta get that! Boom, bam! I'm loving it! Loving it! Three things, surfing, weather, tennis. To me, all equal. Let's go. And kicking her butt is actually number one. Well, shouldn't be number one on your list because it doesn't happen often. I can't But anyways, let's get back to the show. Anyway, my apologies, my apologies for distraction uh, with the weather, but we really enjoy doing weather. Well, she does it. I don't. But, no. I, but I drag her with me doing yes, so. I don't. All right. Anyway. Uh, I, I only went into that whole dissertation uh, uh, about our apologies for uh, missing a day of our tennis discussion because at this point, honestly, you guys are like family, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I even wrote this in because I didn't want to miss a nugget of, of, of my thoughts or our thoughts. We actually were sitting at the kitchen table when we penned this, right? We have kind of gotten to know everyone for the most part that's c continuously talking and so forth, right? Mm hmm and we kind of already know what someone's going to say before they even say it, right? So, in other words, like when I when Federer lost to Millman, I knew I was going to get robbed. Oh, I got drilled. I got drilled, and I'm expecting more of that upcoming, right? Yes. Uh, so if 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 we can kind of feel that, you know, oh man, I just called this out and this didn't happen, you know, this. Uh, whoever, I'll just throw out a name, uh, Rahesh or Stimpy, I mean, they're just going to drill me. And that's what happened. Yeah, Stimpy said, eat crow, Justin, eat crow. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
So I remember this hurricane was rolling up and Federer lost. Didn't we lose power during that? No, yesterday is when we lost power when Nadal was playing Theum and Serena obliter obliterated uh, Pliskova. Just terrible. I mean, wow. Yeah, so I really wanted to watch these matches and I couldn't watch them. So the, so the crazy the crazy. We did watch a Federer match and he went up. up oh, he yeah. went upstairs after um, he lost. The, was it the second set? Something like that. You're like, it's over. He's not winning. Well, he was sweating like it's more, over. more than I've ever seen him sweat. And then he had this fan on the sideline. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I, I, I love Roger. Well, he said he couldn't breathe. I'm, I'm a Roger fan, but look, I, Carla. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Let's just stop. I, I, let's, no. let's just stop this whole breathe thing real quick. Don't go there because there were many other players but with I don't fans. Stop. Stop. You're going too far. You're going way too far. The fact of the matter is, is number one, can you tell me that they are not in New York City? They're in New York City, right? Yes. Okay, number one. They're in Queens, can, yeah. can you tell me for the past ten years that you and I have not played sets, five, sometimes five, and even nine sets? I'm talking about in Panama City, we would stay on the court for nine hours a day in the dead of the summer with no shade and 110 degree heat, and we would play hard. We didn't just we just start limping and complaining. These people make three hundred well, million dollars like complaining New York about the heat. Too. I don't I, get it. When I was a junior, my my dad come on trained, with that. My dad, we, he trained us. Uh, it was uh, over a hundred degrees you couldn't even breathe and he would train us in that so he said get used to that so when you have to play tournaments you will be fit for it you'll have the stamina for it i mean i don't know how it feels in that stadium a lot of people have been complaining that they have they're having a hard time breathing there's no wind or circulation i mean a lot of the players look beat up stevens look beat up Federer look beat up isner look beat up i mean there was quite a few players that just couldn't i mean they look terrible Okay. Even well, Chilik was having a hard time breathing. Djokovic had a hard time breathing, but they pulled through it. Hold up. If they look terrible, that's their problem. I'm not taking up for Rodgers. I'm not making terrible. an excuse. Look, look in Cincinnati. Okay, I, uh, it was a snafu. It was a rare occurrence. But this loss to Millman was horrendous. And, and, and look, all props to Millman here because he was pumped up. He was like me, like ready to go. And when well, I he made a lot of people lose a lot of money. We'll get into that. A lot of money. Don't, don't jump too far ahead because we're gonna we're gonna. Okay. We're gonna well, get. You're it. still at the first page of. I'm getting there. <laughs> See this? I, I, look, and there's a lot of comments. I've been in the weather for two days. And, and One day. Don't exaggerate. You're supposed to be nice. Don't exaggerate. I've been doing big things. Oh, my God. <laughs> look. I'm not going to get into anything more about Fetter until we get to this, and then we're going to talk about it. Good job for Millman there, but he, was, he was fired Well, yeah, up. he was... He was on I fire. I can't even finish my statement without you talking. <laughs> That's all she's doing now. She's got the she's got confidence today. I can't even speak hey, today. The doll one. All right, we go ahead. You, you go ahead. You, you got it. You take the range. <laughs> Nothing. You got it. Wait on you. Go ahead. Wait on you. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, you're talking all that smack. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do over here. I, mean, I can't even breathe. <laughs> Now you know how Federer felt. I couldn't even breathe last night during the storms, and now you're breathing all down my throat. Your winds from your mouth talking so much are sucking the life out of me like the dang tropical storm was. Cool. Cool. I'm that mighty? I don't know about being mighty. You suck on the <laughs> tennis court. That's right. <laughs> yeah. No. This whole thing. I, take, no one believes take, that. <laughs> no one believes that. Since this thing has been on my leg, it's been an absolute nightmare for me. I'm going to revenge my nightmare on you. Like I put that on there. you. Oh, I, I don't know what happened. Maybe I'm starting to think that this was intentional. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over here. But, man, all I'm saying is Millman was fired up. In the meantime, Feder was like, I'm sweaty. I need a fan. Forget your fan, man. Just forget your fan. I love you. I got your hat on, bro. Forget your fan. Either, either be fit or don't be fit. Millman smoked you. Or not even smoked you. Mil Millman is to me a, a someone that I never really I've heard his name before, like maybe a dozen times. Have I ever seen him play? No. Hence why the ticket prices just drop way off. And no disrespect to Millman, but oh my goodness, drop. that dude's fired up. And, and the first set, in the first set of the match, Federer won the first set. I think it was what six three. The dude Millman was fired up, fired up. And after Federer won the first set, first set he kind of looked kind of still sluggish. And like he was too worried about his fan by his feet. And this dude Millman's on the sideline like, what's up? What's up? Kind of like I was when we were in the tropical storm last night. But I told her, she just she just said it a minute ago. 
she just said that. I went upstairs and said it's over. I knew it when Millman was like this in the heat and Fetter's like, man, get disrespect. I was disrespected as a Fetter fan. And I'm going to leave it at that. Disrespected as a Fetter fan. I know you're 38, but I'm 40 and I would have played He's 37. you. 37. 37. I would have played you. I promise you. You would have killed me, but I would have played you. I promise you I would have played you. We'll talk about it later because then we'll go deep into it. I mean, I have a lot to say about that too. All right, enough enough of that. So a- anyway, anyway, back to the tangent or before the tangent that we got off on. Uh, I was trying to uh, 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 finish a statement where uh, this is kind of like a family deal and it's really gotten pretty darn cool. Uh, and then I got into this whole deal. But I wanted to end that big time thank you all. Uh, that was supposed to be a thank you. Mm-hmm. Like I started it with... This is kind of a, uh, hey, I can understand what you're saying before you're going to say it. I knew it was going to get drilled. And then all of a sudden we got wrapped up in the Millman and Fetter. Yeah. I wanted just to say thank you and move on to, as I had here, a, a Rafa celebration and then a Djokovic celebration. All right? So, as always, I always like to say thank you to all of you because if it's not for you, we don't do this. And I owe you a big time apology for the day off yesterday, but it was due to inclement weather. Yes. Legitimately. So, we're going to do an Nadal celebration. You know how to do that, right? Where he just goes up like this. All right, ready? We've got to have the wet hair. All right, hold on. Uh, so, I'm going to do an Nadal celebration. I don't have wet hair. Because he gets off and he shakes. He doesn't have a hat on. He doesn't he have my chair he, now. He, he takes it. Like so, look, like, we, look, we have to do. We have to take our bandanas off, like, hypothetically. So, when we say three, two, one, we're going to take our bandanas off. And then we're going to go and hold it for about five seconds. All right, you ready? <laughs> three, two, one. Really? You have to take your bandana oh, off. Oh, bro. All right, wait. On three, two, one. Wait. All right, here we go. Three, you gotta do it slowly and then go up slowly. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that. All right. I like more when he goes like this. So. Well, that's after he makes a shot. Yeah, and his biceps just. You got pretty nice biceps too. Can, okay. I, can I see your biceps? Just pop out. Let me check that out. <laughs> I like this over here. All right, so now we got to do the Djokovic. Are you ready? Oh, no. Three, two, one. Let's go! We're getting knee deep into this here. Getting knee deep into this. Diesel truck and boat headed by. All right, so real quick. By the way, if the video quality is a little bit less than what you are used to, it's because I had to lower the megapixels of the camera on my old phone because uh, with the well we got power back but the internet really hasn't come back I mean it's kind of off and on so I lowered the megapixels down so I could download maybe this in lieu of my uh, cellular provider in about three hours time and then part two will be in three hours time so you may get this video like three hours late and then part two like three hours late but because of the inclement weather which is the reason why we took a day off in the first place is why this may be um, a long, long, long download. Yeah. All right. Huh. So we talked about the tropical storm, why we took a day off. It was a really intense storm, by the way. Check out the videos. Carla was a soldier. She went out there with no jacket and then realized it was so bad she had that jacket, so she came out with the jacket. Yeah, I think I changed like three times. I was soaked. So thanks a lot for that. I dragged her out into the storms. I get so mad. And she gets really mad. So it's not really a fun night at all. Especially when the power goes out. So we came upstairs. Well, we have power leaks. <laughs> yeah, so, so it was coming down so hard. The rain and wind was coming in through the back side of the house. And the wind was blowing the rain into the back window. And the ceiling started leaking. And it leaked through from the second floor to the first floor. So we had to catch it. So we got like this big tub that we keep kids' toys in. And filled it up with water and dump it out. So for like three hours, she was dumping out water. And I'm downstairs talking about... Where are you at, Carla? <laughs> then I run upstairs, and I'm like, Carla, come on, come on. She's like, no, I don't want to go out there. You're crazy. And I'm like, no, you have to come out. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. You have to come out. It so doesn't I'm... seem like it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. We did this last year. Let's go. And then I drag her outside, and she's like, how are you? So I got my phone taped up with, like, uh, clear packing tape, and she's like, can't even see it. I'm like, I'm over here. I'm over here. And she's like, what? This is crazy. <sighs> Loved it. Loved it. She's a soldier, though. She's a soldier. Went to big times. I was going to just smack Well, I think the soldier is really uh, his dad, who's 80-plus, and drove through the eye of the storm oh, yeah. over the Dolphin Island Bridge while the eye was on us. He knocked on our door. I'm like, what? 
Yeah, so, yeah, it, it, it was about, like, 10 o'clock at night, and the storm, like, the, the, the intense part of the storm was just going past us. All of a sudden, we get a knock on the door, and all the power was out, and my dog's like, whoa, 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 whoa. we're like, what? And I'm like, Katana, go, 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 whoever that is, go get them. Go, go, go. And we're all like, who's at the door? Like, you know, because, like, burglars come around when the lights are out. You know, complete island dark. You can expect people are lurking. Uh, so, so nonetheless, the dog runs to the door, and I open the door. It's my 80-year-old dad. He, like, drove through it. But he was, like, a fighter pilot. Or not a fighter. He was a flight surgeon in the Navy. Flew aircraft in the military. Jets uh, on carriers for 20 years. So, Anyway, That's impressive. It was probably a kind of a fighter aircraft. That was impressive because I drove through that Let's bridge go. earlier and I said, no way anybody's going to drive at night while this is coming through. Let's and, go. He did. and drove back as it was starting to hit Mobile. Pretty wicked stuff. It, it, if I wasn't here in the midst of it, I would have happily taken the drive though. Really fun stuff. Still would have loved to surf this well. Missed it because of the leg, but next storm, you're going to be on the beach. Uh, with with the film going for the surf. Let's hope there's not one for a while. And then and then the uh, the the match is gonna up come or, or come up eventually. And who is that in California? Kane that's supposed to come film this and play. See what happens with Kane. Mm. Let's see. Kane put the beer down, the cigarettes down. Get ready. Whole lot of talking. He said that he's gonna bail me. I don't think so. Hey Kane, whole lot of talking. I don't think so. Whole lot of talking. Let's see some. It's walking. rare when someone bagels Let's me. Let's see some walking. Doors open. Let's go. Dave Rains can be a testament for that. Mm -hmm. Dave Rains did a whole lot of talking. He did some walking. <laughs> Two years in a row. Let's go, Dave Rains. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Excited about today. Can't wait. Loved the storm yesterday. Loved it. Really stoked. Come on. All right, anyway, so I'm trying to pump myself up and to try to... How much time we got? 21. Oh, we're good. So this has been a long introduction uh, span per se, because I've tried to, to delay the inevitable for about 21 minutes now. I even told him, you're so lucky that storm came through, because the comments that were coming through were bad. So here was my statement I wrote down. Quote, I am due for and in well deserving of a real chastising from everyone. So let's open up this can of whoop I wrote parentheses here. I have to say it nicely because you, we have high school kids that watch this and stuff too. So, nicely said, go ahead and open up this can of whoop butt on me as Fetter lost to Millman. Do I need to start my own chastising? I mean, you got me trapped. How are you going to chastise me? Me? I'm not. Uh, he, he, right I here. wanted Fetter to win. I really did. I wanted to see a rematch of... Uh... Djokovic and Federer, you know, just to for himself, just so he could prove to himself to the world or himself that he still has it, but it didn't happen. So definitely didn't happen. A lot of people lost out on this are gonna lose out on this match. Sales tickets are gonna drop, and I mean, I expect Djokovic to run through Millman. Actually, I really wanted Djokovic to have a tougher match. That way, when he gets to the finals or against Chilik, he has a better chance if Chilik wins today. If he wins today. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing, this topic. Uh, I wasn't really even dwelling too much on it. I was still kind of pumped up about the weather and, and, and doing our first show. And Chilik and, and, and Nishikori, they split sets, and it's five all in the third. Okay, that's I'm not really too worried about that match, but I, I hope, well, I don't care really who wins that. I, I, think, I do. I have Chile going to the final. Oh. All right, well, back to, back to the Federer thing. I just went from, uh, to like, mm, when I thought about the Federer loss to Millman. Uh, I do have to stand corrected on my couple month old um, uh, dissertation or tangent where I said Cincinnati was a fluke for Federer. Everyone called me out on that. Uh, I don't even have to name names. There were so many. Um, I don't. I don't. I, I'm. I'm kind of speechless still on the Federer loss. Why are you speechless? Well, let me finish. Let me finish. This is my spiel because because I talk so much about Roger and I've been a Roger fan since. Day one, uh, and before day one, uh, my dad and I talked about him as a junior. Um, it's sometimes hard to let go, and I, and I don't think I will ever let go of Roger. Uh, and not taking anything away from Millman either, but when I saw Roger sweating as much, and he's usually the classical never sweat, uh, I don't care how hot it is, let's be real, he trains in Doha. He trains in guitar. Come on. So that to me, that's 
you know, okay, well, if I need to say that to, I, I don't even want to talk about that aspect of it. Uh, I'm not going to say Fetter played bad, but I, I want to say Millman played a match of his lifetime and still barely squeaked by. Uh, I would like to see Millman do better, but I think Djokovic will absolutely annihilate Millman. I agree. Mm-hmm. Now, the future for Roger, for me, at this point, I'm not saying retire. He's still number two, three in the world now, I would think, respectively. I don't know. I forget what round he made it in the U.S. Open to last year. If he made a quarter last year, then he broke even on points. Is obviously still in the top ten either way of how the points work. I think Federer still has another major in him. Um, but I don't think currently that Federer should, should still continue to take all this time off Look, when you're 37, I'm 40. But if it, look, I've been down for a month with a with a, a leg injury, and it's going to take months to come back from that. If 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 I was a player even at 40, I would want to play matches often, and and yes, still practice and and so forth. But I think I would want to be more match savvy at that age than I would be practice savvy. Uh, but I I think he needs to work on his schedule in terms of playing maybe more tournaments. Uh, and less exhibitions and charity events if he wants to win another major. I, I think if he doesn't want to win another, or doesn't particularly care to win another major, uh, I, I, I mean, I, if it's about sponsorships at this point, which is kind of what I'm beginning to think, it's like, why are you, I mean, why are we losing to Millman? Why, why are we, who was it um, just recently that was a shock loss? What was the tournament before that where he lost? We were like, oh, he played Djokovic and lost 4-4 four and four and looked like he wasn't even there. Well, have you thought that maybe Federer has done a lot? Of he really doesn't have to prove anything more to any of the fans or anybody. I mean, sometimes people lose passion for the game. I mean, he's worked his whole life to be this man that he is. And, again, you can't count him out. I mean, there's so many times where a commentator said, fan said, critic said, he's done, he's done, he's done. And then he wins two more slams. So right. you never know with him. So you you never know, and I I just it, it's 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 uh, odd how when, when I see Federer lose like that, just and it's been two days now or a day and a half, and I think about it, it kind of sombers me away. Again, I've been a big Federer fan for a long time, like um, a lot, a big time. But same with Nadal, same with Djokovic. When either of them lose in an odd way, it hurts, uh, and this one hurt. And I knew uh, that I had said the following. Yes, I said that Federer was his fluke in Cincinnati, or his showing in Cincinnati against Djokovic was a fluke. Yes, I was excited about Kiyosama eating crow. Really excited about Kiyosama eating crow. I just knew Federer was going to beat Djokovic, but yet now they can't even play. Uh, yes, I promised Federer would win the U.S. Open. Uh, yes, I picked him on my fantasy team to win the U.S. Open. Okay? So, I, I, I mean, I bit off a whole lot more than I could chew, and I accept that. Yeah, uh, you know, I was, I was a little... But don't, sh- but don't kill me too bad. I'm just a big fan. And and he had a chance. But he it, just but, didn't, but, maybe but, he didn't want it bad. But go Djokovic. Go Nadal. Let's go. I, ho- I, I hope they meet. Uh, we have uh, Nadal that still has to get through Del Potro. And we have Djokovic that's going to get through Nishikori or Chilich easily anyway. So Djokovic... No, no, no. It's Del Potro. Yeah, it, yeah. It's Del I said it right. Djokovic, yeah. Um, yeah. Djokovic has an easy match. I, I read some of the comments about he's had a tougher draw. No, he's had easier matches. Hands down. Um, and I really do want to see him lose. I'm sorry. Who? Djokovic. Because she's a Nadal fan. That's right. By the way, by the way, she said that. How much, can you tell me how much time we have real quick? I'm sorry. I, I, with the bandage on my leg, I don't want to be walked in front of her. You have 28. Is that 28 minutes? Yeah. All right. And I have still a lot to go. Yeah. I'm hoping Melman can maybe do the same thing. And if Chilik wins, because Nishikori doesn't have a shot against Djokovic. Chilik does, not uh, Nishikori. All right, I'm going to end part one right here, and then we're going to sail through the rest on part two. Um, please don't be too tough on me for the for the Fetter deal. That's okay. He had a shot. He just didn't I want didn't... it. Like he said at the end of his interview, I was really happy the match was done. He said that at his interview? Yeah. Wait a minute. I didn't know this. What did he say? He said he was happy that the match was finally done. Fetter said he was finally the happy. Watch the interview. I didn't quote it right, but that's pretty much what he why, said. Why? Why? What was the reason? He said he felt he felt like he couldn't breathe. He just felt awkward out there. Anyway, 
I, I, I'm going to take a second, uh, hit stop on here. We're going to go to part two, but I definitely want to look at this statement. Again, I've been out of the tennis interviews, and I've been out of, of the uh, of the matches for a day and a half because of the weather, but I, I wasn't ready for that comment. He said, you're telling me he quoted it, I'm glad the match is done? Yeah, he was happy the match was done. He was happy the match was done? And that came from Roger Federer? Yeah. We're going to end part one right here. I'm going to check this comment. We're going to get into part two because I have a lot written and I'm really excited about it. But this whole this whole uh, exit for me from uh, the U.S. Open by Roger is for me a signal of times of changing. I'm very... Uh, he said, I was just... Wait, we're going to save that for part two because then we're going to run out of time. Mm -hmm. I'm anxious to hear this. I'm only more worried now that Nadal could make the 20 grand slams because the doll i think has three french opens left in him uh, I, he would be at 18 if he won yeah i i think the doll has three years left in him because of his uh his body type and how he hits the ball and his grinding and his forehands coming Strong dude. coming here the Strong shoulder uh, and i've been through some shoulder stuff with some jerky service motions before i corrected them uh but nonetheless uh i think the doll has three more french opens in him and not another major, hence why I think Djokovic wins here at the U.S. Open. I don't think anybody's going to mess with Djokovic at this point. I thought Federer could. I was obviously wrong. I want to hear this comment, though, but if Nadal wins three more France, then he has 20. Uh, so, I, again, I'm all in for Djokovic here. Uh, Carla and I are going to be on opposite sides of the house from the remaining of this tournament, because I'm telling Carla right now. You ready? Here it goes. You ready? You guys ready for this? Mm -hmm. You ready for this? You guys ready for this? Oh, you ready? I hope Djokovic destroys Nadal. Let's go, Djokovic! Let's go! Come on! I, I think I think if Djokovic and Nadal play, it won't even be e epic. I think that Nadal will beat. I mean, I think that Djokovic will beat Nadal in four sets. Part two coming up. Part two coming up. Get this article ready about Roger. I still don't believe that Roger said I'm glad the match was over. It. That must be out of context. No, I, don't... I, I have it here. All right, pause it there. Part two coming up immediately. Let's go. Come on.